Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to do a comparison between three different types of cutoff saws for metal. On the end, we have a bandsaw. Here we have an abrasive chop saw, and here we have a cold chop saw. Now, personally, I didn't understand the difference between this cold chop saw and the abrasive chop saw, or I really didn't know that this was something a homeowner could get. And so I've been doing my research, and I found that there are very specific reasons to use this saw or this one. So first thing I want to do is make some cuts with each of these three tools, and then we'll go into the differences between them and why you might need one of these for doing projects like what I have planned. First tool is this portable bandsaw. It's really nice that it comes off the base, so you can take it to jobs that you can't bring to your workbench, whereas these tools have to be used with their base. But I don't think this is gonna cut nearly as fast as our cold saw, but we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna set a stopwatch right here, and whenever I see that get to 30 seconds, I'll start my cut, and then see how long it takes. I can also time it off of the video. <laughs> So that took 18 seconds for one cut, and it is what you would call a cold cut. Now if I had taken an angle grinder and made this cut, couple things. First, the edge would be covered in burrs. I couldn't touch this. I would have to work it some more. Second, it would be too hot to touch. And that's the idea with a cold cut. And this took 18 seconds. Now we're gonna cut the same material with the abrasive saw and then with the cold cut saw. This saw is made by Vivor. I will have a link in the description of the video if you want one of these saws. The next saw is the abrasive chop saw, which is the only kind of chop saw I was aware of, and it is made by Milwaukee. I'll actually put a link in the description to all three saws because they all have their purpose. You guys know I've been talking for the last year about building my second bridge, and I've got most of my materials, and I got a quote to have someone build that bridge for me. Just basic metal work, cutting, welding, drilling, and I got that quote, and I said, I can't pay that. I'm gonna do it myself. And luckily, I've got the ability to get some of these tools to work with, and I'm gonna try to save a bunch of money. That mag drill was awesome for bolting the receiver onto my box blade, and last night I used the plasma cutter to modify an adapter so that I can use different attachments on my mini skid steer. So these metalworking tools are immediately after getting them are solving problems for me, which is awesome. So now we'll do this cut, same piece of metal, same cut, we'll time it, talk about the advantages to this saw. All right, so that took about 32 seconds. Now you think 18 seconds, 32 seconds, what's the big deal? Well, if you're only cutting one piece, it doesn't matter. What if I needed to cut 100 of these and you're doubling the time? Downsides, you see the smoke coming off that? That's hazardous to your health. This is probably cancer causing. I should be wearing a mask and a respirator. Now I was only making the one cut, but that's the reality. Second downside. It's too hot to touch. Third downside, see how ugly the cut is? I don't know if it's gonna focus on my face instead of focusing on the workpiece. But all that jagged metal makes it more dangerous. You have to take extra time to clean up these edges on a bench grinder or with a flap disc or whatever you're using. 
But there is a clear advantage to this saw. This, the band saw and the cold cut saw will struggle with a more hardened material and you're going to tear up expensive cold saw blades trying to cut hardened material, whereas this can handle it a little better. So when you look at our third saw, it looks like it has a wood cutting circular saw blade on it. That's the shape of the teeth. Let me show you up close. So even though the tooth has a similar shape, you cannot put a blade like this onto a regular miter saw or onto this saw. So this is carbide tungsten tipped blades, CTC blades, and they are designed to cut at a slower RPM. There is an even slower cold cut saw design that might run at like 50 RPMs. And that's like a milling machine almost. This runs at 1200 RPM. This saw is going to run between 3000 and 5000 RPM. So you're looking at three to four times the cutting speed. So if you put this saw on here, it's not going to work. Same thing with your regular miter saw. But this thing, from what I've been told, what I've seen, lasts forever and cuts faster. So we had 18 seconds and 32 seconds. Let's make the same cut here. So the cold saw cut this in eight seconds. That's less than half of the time of the band saw, and it's a fourth of the time of the chop saw. That's dramatic. If you had to cut a hundred of them four times as long, it's not any fun, and then you have more cleanup to do. Another thing that makes this saw better to me than this one is you saw the sparks flying off this. This is more of a fire hazard. I was starting to say that's got a nasty burr on it, but that's the other side. This is the side I'd cut with the chop saw, and this is the side I just cut with the cold saw. So not only can I handle this, but I don't have to do all that cleanup and deburring. This, you're not as likely, you still wear safety glasses either way, but you're not as likely to have something fly up and hit you off of this, and you're not as likely to start a fire with this. So something else to keep in mind. This obviously cuts better than this, and it cuts better than this. So why would I have all three? So I don't own this saw. I've been borrowing this saw when I need to cut metal, and now I don't have to borrow anymore. But the reason you would still have this is hardened materials. If you have something that's really, really hard, this is going to tear up a more expensive blade. This is for portability in my mind. So all three saws have their place, but man, if you do any kind of fabricating, I would get one of these cold saws. It's not expensive. This saw was just over $200, I think, and I've got a discount code for it that you can save some money if you want one. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.